faggot killer cause I'm a killer faggot. Uh, oh, hey. Um, one of my favorite things in the world is when uh, companies pay money for stuff and it backfires or it doesn't work out the way they thought it would. Um, which doesn't happen that often because they got the best people on the job. But I like when it happens. I like when um, I like when Toyota did those ads. Those uh, it wasn't the Swagger Wagon. Came after Swagger Wagon, and uh, Patton Oswalt said something about the kid. The kid, the spoiled brat in the video. Patton Oswalt didn't like it, and uh, so then Toyota got some got a little bit of negativity sent their way. And I like when that happens. Um, I like when I like when they try to buy try to make viral videos and they don't go viral. I love that. That's the best thing in the world to me. Um, so anyway, this is uh, Ashton Kutcher. Ashton Kutcher has a, what is it, an ad agency? What do they call themselves? A company? They call themselves a company? Most innovative companies. It's called Catalyst. Catalyst creates groundbreaking original programming and innovative social media content. Our mission is simple. We match compelling storytelling with unrivaled distribution and technology platforms for some of the biggest brands in the world. Launched in 2000 by Ashton Kutcher and Jason Gold Goldberg to develop television and film properties, Catalyst added a social media division in 2005. Catalyst is based in Los Angeles. And these people are so, this is the kind of thing where their official site is the Facebook page. That's what they did. I feel like uh, you can gauge everybody. This is like a thing. This is like everybody lost their virginity. Everybody's been fingered, okay? How did you react when you got fingered? Did you like it a lot? Did you get fingered for a long time? Or was it icky and you had them put it away? That's kind of like what this is. Every company hears uh, a, a speech by Gary Vaynerchuk. If you, ha if you don't know who Gary Vaynerchuk is, look him up on YouTube. Watch two seconds of one of his videos and you'll get the point. That's all you need. You need to watch 15 seconds of Gary Vaynerchuk and you already know everything that he's saying. Yeah, Mom! Yeah, well, I'm making a video now, so can you give me some space here? I need some privacy in your room that I'm living in. Anyway, so this, this is one of Gary Vaynerchuk's things is, um... In the future, every company's gonna have its own, it's, there's gonna be no websites, they're just gonna be Facebook pages, okay? And I mean, yeah, there's probably a lot of truth to that, but still, I mean, the, the fact that you pointed it out, I don't know, I like it, it's funny, it's funny to me, it's cute. And these people bought it, bought into it hard. And that's what I was talking about virgins, is uh, every company, you can, there's some way you can gauge something based on how hard they buy into Gary Vaynerchuk's whole spiel, okay? So if, if for example, Pepsi, Pepsi started a Facebook page, but they didn't make it their main page, so they kind of like bought into it a little bit, but they're kind of old school, like they keep it old school. But a company like Catalyst, where uh, they make their main website, the Facebook page, and every employee's got a Twitter, and everybody's got, uh, you know, a MySpace account, and you have to go on there all the time, and we, do, oh, our company doesn't have email anymore, we just use MySpace. That's somebody who bought into Gary Vaynerchuk's whole thing real, real hard. Um, anyway, so Ashton Kutcher is a fucking loser, and I like this video because it's an example of what I like the most in life, which is when companies, uh, screw up or they don't get what they want, they don't get what they paid for. As Don King said, you don't always get what you paid for, but you always pay for what you get. And here are some of these nice comments on this video here. Um... Save yourself some time. This is a four-minute commercial for Intel. Um, da, 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 da. Suck my dick, Ashton. We don't need to all do shit. I am sick of these huge fucking corporate fake as contests. You don't give a shit about community or about people's ideas, which are generally shit anyways. Honestly, just go away. You know what? You have the reading and writing level of a... Um, of a... Rapper. But I like what you said. I like the content of what you said. Suck my dick, Ashton. Freaking hipsters. Social media is on a slow death trip. FB is the new AOL. I don't like the word hipster. Because um, it's a, it's a catch-all term for... You need to be more specific when you're insulting somebody. You can't just say... 
Oh, he's a, he's a blah, blah, blah. You gotta cut him down. Anyway, I don't want to look at the rest of the comments, but I'm sure there are some bad ones in there. And I like that. And here's the video, and you need to watch this right now. I don't care what you think. For the next three minutes, you're mine, okay? The next three minutes, I got you, buddy. And you're watching this video right here. I came up with an idea uh, around the notion of a jam session. And, and our idea was, what if we bring really ridiculously gifted people together and process those ideas with a goal at the end and have an output, right? We're entering into a new age because of what Intel has provided with this processor and because of the tools with which we consume media where we need to start dreaming bigger. We're storytellers, right? Like our, our essence is we're storytellers. And along comes this whole new medium that we can tell stories in. And it exists online, it exists on our computers, and it's powered by Intel's fastest processor in the world. At the same time, we're not even coming close to maximizing the capability. Wow, dude. I love all these words he's throwing around. Uh, the word storytelling, for anybody who's, if you're not, cre if you're not a creative and you're watching this out there, uh, the word storytelling is like a word you can use anytime you need anything ever. Um, for example, if you get caught uh, sharking girls on the subway or taking upskirt shots with the camera, you just tell people you were storytelling. Or if you like to grind your boner into girls' backs on the subway uh, and you get arrested, you just tell them that you're a storyteller. Or if you need to get hired or if you need to make a video, you just say storytelling. And it's like, uh, storytelling is like this magic word you can just throw on anything and all of a sudden everything's cool and it's all better because you're a storyteller. And I love that. I love that that's a thing. And also, he must have some huge, some big old balls, uh, getting up there. That line, I felt, I felt a hot flash. I felt my skin turn red when he said, um, and t th we're, li we're living in the age of the fastest change around because of Intel's new processor. Oh! I'm dying inside. Of that chip. There's so much capacity to evolve our ability to tell stories, and we're not doing it. This is Hollywood. This is the home of the storyteller. <laughs> so our job is to start thinking about the medium in a way that inspires, and that's dreaming bigger. And, and, and that's why we're here. The mission is, in 48 hours, we're going to create six short digital content units. These are some of the groups of people that connect in, people who are into Intel or inspired by technology and fashion and travel, and they're expressive people and they're brand conscious and, they, and, they, and they're conscious about their community, and we should try to evoke the spirit of the brand. Unreal. He's taking that, notes. That brand conscious. I mean, Got to write that down. And, and maybe to win the grand prize at the end for having the video that the most people believe in. But by the way, I'll, I'll tell you, it's just as powerful to have the video that the fewest people believe in because creativity lives on the edges. Wow, dude. It, and he's going to, all the projects are due at six people and how this is going to be the genesis of the next big idea. The room, full of, room full of people with big old balls, letting them hang out. Big balls and no dicks. Just letting them swing through the breeze. Anyway. Jesus Christ. What inspires you?